Hi guys, this is Alex from Fat Wallet MML, and this is the channel where we try to inspire you to invest now so that you can flex later. So this is a, an ongoing series on investment risks. In this episode, we're going to cover the investment risks for another investment class, which is uh, bonds. We cover other types of investment class already in the previous videos in this series. So if you miss any one of them, or if some concepts aren't clear, I encourage you to watch the other videos so you have an idea about um, some of the concepts we're talking about. And remember that we want to choose an investment class and measure the investment risk versus inflation, because if we don't do anything, we will lose our money to inflation. And that's the investment risk. So I'm not doing anything. But if we invest in bonds, perhaps, maybe we can have a leg up on inflation. What are bonds? Bonds and uh, treasury bills are basically long-term loans that an institution like the government uh, uh, makes or creates so that they can get money, so that they can create programs or invest in other type of ventures that help the general public in the case of the government anyways, okay? So we're gonna talk about that. The Philippine government uh, issued bonds, they issued treasuries, but we're gonna cover bonds because bonds are longer term. And um, normally they give out what are called 10 year bonds and 10 year bonds as a yield of X percentage versus a five year bond is typically higher because you're holding money for a longer period of time. So what is the yield for a 10 year bond? Well, we just simply Google it and, and we can see what it is. So I'm going to share my screen here. So here I am at uh, marketwatch.com and I just looked at the Philippine 10 year government bond. <clears throat> As of uh, May 4th, the yield is 6.375. It's gone up like 20 basis points since the last time this was checked. And you can see from the yield curve here that the bond yield has been steadily rising. And it's rising because of inflation. So the government is trying to raise interest rates to keep up with inflation, to stave off inflation, all right? And that's why the bond yields are getting higher. Inflation is about 4, 4.5% for, for the Philippines right now. So investing in a 10-year government bond does put you up ahead against inflation. So in that regard, you're up a couple points uh, against inflation. So what is the risk of investing in bonds? Uh, isn't it safe? You give your money to the government and then over 10 years, they'll give you your money back plus the interest rates about 6.375%. Well, that is the risk, isn't it? Because you're actually locked in at 6.375% for 10 years. So let's say that inflation keeps rising and it rises up to 5%, 5.5%, 6%, 6.5%, 7%, 8%. We've seen in a previous video that at one point in, in, in recent history, not recent history, but in the last couple of decades, the interest rates were up in a 10%. And at one point, it was actually at 19%. So with that in mind, the investment risk in bonds is that we will eventually fall behind inflation if inflation keeps rising because we don't know where this curve will end up. We really don't. Nobody does. Okay. So, so bonds are good. It should be part of the portfolio. It should be part of your, your mix, but there is an investment risk in bonds as well. And that's exactly what I described. It's, it's holding your money for a long time and we'll share this link with you in the notes, but uh, here I am at treasury.gov.ph and this is the latest report from the Department of Finance, April 27, 2022. And they actually list down the, the uh, investment classes. So for the money market, which is essentially cash, the savings rate is very low right now because the banks haven't caught up yet. We're looking at under 1%, okay? 1% sometimes. Okay, so this is this is for most banks. I'm not talking about the online banks that we talked about in another episode, but this is for most banks. It's uh, 1% and below. Okay, and this is the lending rate, prime lending, 5%. 
they give you less than one percent. They they loan it out five percent. So that's their spread. That's what the bank makes. Okay. And here we have the bond market. Okay. And it has it for um, the domestic bonds, but also for the foreign denominated bonds. So you can actually buy bonds in another currency uh, if you like, and it's actually good to diversify there. Just make sure that you understand the currency risk as well, because the investment risk comes not only from the investing in the instrument, but also currency risk as you move the money around from pesos to dollars to euros to, um, you know, yen, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so these are the yields of the different country. And here are the, the uh, domestic bonds. So we're looking at 10 years down here at about 6%, okay, and rising, and rising. So keep that in mind. That's it for this video, guys. Just wanted to talk about investment risk for bonds. Uh, it's not, it's safe. Yes, you will get some money back with some interest back, but against inflation, who knows, right? You should have a part of your portfolio, but it shouldn't be the only thing in your portfolio. And of course, your age matters here as well. So if you're closer to retirement, make sure you have more money in bonds and stocks and other high risk investments. But if you're younger, then you should have less. You should, you have time. Okay. You have more than 10 years before retirement you have time. So keep that in mind. That's it for this video. In upcoming videos, we're going to talk about other investment risks for other investment classes. If you like what we're sharing here, make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming video. And if you have questions or comments, make sure you DM me on Instagram.